Hello and welcome. My name is Charlie Boy and this is my tutorial on how to get X-Band online in 2021 using the DreamPod. Alright, first off we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo. You will need an X-Band modem. You will need, of course, the Dream Pie. You will need a 32 uh, gigabyte micro SD card or uh, anything larger than 4, I believe, will work. Uh, I use 32 gigs. It definitely works. Uh, you will need the Dream, the, the modem for the Dream Pie. Uh, which is including the line inducer and it is a dial-up modem you also need the program called putty uh, this allows the PC you are on to talk and interact with the dream pie uh, there is a written tutorial uh, by the person who is resurrecting expand as an online service uh, shout outs to her I'll have her Twitter linked here and her YouTube linked here and this tutorial assumes that you have already set up a dream pie before uh, in case you haven't done that uh, I'll have a video linked here uh, for you to be able to check that out and get your dream pie set up all right so i have my dream pie not powered on just yet uh i have putty installed you're going to need to download putty links will be in the description for this uh once you do it should be on your start menu here uh it will put these four programs on your computer you need the one just called putty and then here is where you will enter your Dream Pie's host IP. Once you power on your Dream Pie, uh, you can get your host IP from there or out of your router settings. You type that in here and you hit open. And I have entered my IP address. So leave the port the same as 22. And I'm going to hit open. It will give me a login. Alright, at this point, after I have been asked to log in by the PuTTY application or program, uh, I will be using the password username Pi and password Raspberry as set up by the guide here. Log in as Pi, user password. Rasp Berry. Enter. And then it will prompt me to use a Linux command line. That's where I'm going to need this print right here. Bring this back up and communicate with my Dream Pie. Copy and paste. And press Enter. And what this does is it updates your Raspberry Pi configuration to work exclusively with the X-Band. So perhaps maybe get a second SD card just for your Dream Pi if you continue to use it uh, with the Dreamcast. But yeah, this will update your Dream Pi to be exclusively with the X-Band, so it will become an X-Band Pi. And it's at this point, I believe, our Dream Pi, and we are done with Putty. I believe our Dream Pi is now updated and configured for online use. Uh, let's go test it out. So back here on X-Band, got a profile created. And let's attempt to connect. We'll be able to use the mailbox with the Dream Pie. 
We are not going to be able to use uh, the online functionality here just yet, as it is not supported at the current time, but hopefully we will have a supported online gameplay with DreamPie uh, soon enough. Hopefully. I think it's also uh, worth mentioning here that you have to power on your X-Band with a cartridge inside of it. And there we are. Uh, as simple as that. We are connected online. And uh, my modem's battery is dead, so uh, in that case I just have to enter my username identically and then I will be able to recover it just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. But you can see we are online. We should be online. I was just saying connected. Let's, let's, let's go one more time. connected to X-Band. Welcome! It works! You're connected to the RetroComputing.network X-Band server. Pretty awesome stuff here. Uh, so yeah, I hope this tutorial uh, has yeah, helped you out. Guys, uh, enjoyed. Hopefully this helps you connect to get on X-Band and hopefully we get to play together soon. Thanks for watching.